Hello everybody, I'm back again. This is a new cell I made just for the sake of experimenting and showing a way to do a cell. Square tubes, positive, neutral, neutral, and the outside is negative. At the bottom I have a insulating plastic I will put this on the inside and the lid will press and I'll have a dry cell. As you can see I've drilled holes at the top of the tubes for the gas to pass. The level of the liquid will be below the holes so that I will have a dry cell. I used here in the corners a glue, it's called Giso 444. I use it also on the side to make little spots and then cut it and have the distance I want. Well this one is the container of my spiral cell it's in the inside. It's attached at the top with insulating material. Okay, I'm showing you now the correct way to uh, wind a spiral. You take a spacer like this. You have molded like the tube. You put it there like this. And then you go on and you start to wind and you end up with a coil that is with the right distance between the windings. Sorry that I've shown you the way of pulling it out like this. It's not the correct way. This is the correct way. Sorry. This is a loose piece I have added to keep the distance from the center. Here you have the cell and it's the attachment for the HHO to come out. Now I'll show you an option of winding a marine wire coil. I bend it the tops with a threaded side. I took a plexiglass, I drilled the whole series of holes, I cut it, I cut a inside and you can put them together like this. and you have a winding system. The beginning, you put a little nut, you begin winding. You have to hold it tight, otherwise it tends to go back. I'll show you later on. It's very simple, as you see. If you leave it go, it goes like this. To block the endings, I have prepared these little teeny pieces to slide the thread inside, like this, and then I can tighten it and hold it at the end here. And this is how it's, it looks. It's very simple. You only have to keep it very tight, otherwise it slips back. This is the finished marine coil. One problem you will have is the 
the very small distance you have between the, bo the bolt and the, the wire and between the holder and the wire and the holder here and the wire so this is something you have to resolve singularly I will now connect the positive terminal to the battery and here we go the water is about 13-14 degrees Celsius it draws some 18-19 amps thirty eight amps which is way too much it's nice it looks good and it's fun and uh, it produces a lot but it's also converting a lot of current into heat in any case what a spiral really is is a water heater a spiral is substantially a heater there's room for improvement in all things we do I now close it and hooked it up 12 volts and it's about 10 minutes that it's running and it's drawing 11.3 amps what I measured is about 0 0.4 liters a minute in the end, as sad as it sounds, I have to admit that the most efficient system is the plate system. And this is what all HHO experimenters before me have uh, come to know and told repeatedly on all their presentations on YouTube. I am the last one. My dear friends, one of the most important things in life is respect and honesty towards yourself. And since I'm honest with myself and I respect myself, I'm also honest with you and I respect you. As good as all the things I've done look, the best I came up with were the plates. My dear friends, this is my workshop. This is all stainless steel, you see. This is my machinery in Tukat that I've shown already. And now after a year and over $3,000 spent and hundreds of hours, as you can see, in going through all kinds of experiments. And this is some of the waste I produced while trying to make cells. These are gaskets, the black ones here. I will use for the next uh, cell. I have the plates right there, a stack of plates, 20, 25 of them. Seven cores cell, I was so enthusiastic about. This is my very first experiment I made. Marine wire. stainless steel container these are the cells of today this is my second attempt and so on first double spiral double spiral and all bunch of stuff I bought and after all this I have to tell you I am a little bit frustrated but this is a constructive frustration because it leads me to think and to choose wisely what to do next and there are some nice nice things ahead I will let you know if they follow through and, and if we follow through and we make uh, successful experiments so I'm not giving up I'm just a little bit frustrated for the results I had today and all of the work I've done but this is all experience I gained and I hope I help someone doing something better.